I'm from Glasgow, which is traditionally extremely working class background. My father was from a slum in Glasgow. And he himself has completely fallen away from the Labour Party because they don't feel represented. That those previous social democratic values, the SNP seem to have a monopoly on it now. So there doesn't seem to be a, a real alternative. Um, I don't have the answers, but I'd love to hear from you. And, the, and the, I mean, one of the most striking charts in British politics at the moment is if you see what voting intent from 18 to 30, and it's a sweep of Labour red across England and Wales and then in Scotland exactly. to complete the SNP. I mean, it, it is exactly the same situation. There are two causes for it, aren't there? Firstly, there's a new division in politics. It became independence versus uh, the union, and Labour got skewered on that one. But secondly, and almost more corrosively, was that perception of Labour hubris, that Labour MPs got elected in Scotland because they should be elected in Scotland. And actually, the worrying thing for Labour is, like in the part of the country where I come from, in West Yorkshire, you see real elements of the same thing, with Brexit being the new sort of division. But with that perception that there is a sort of Labour establishment that assumes that they'll be elected in Yorkshire. And you, you Alan, see, how is that I different mean, to Conservatives expecting to be elected in Surrey? Uh, it isn't. But it isn't, the Conservatives but seem to be, more, to be more in Surrey, or at least for the moment. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of reasons for that. I suppose in the last couple of elections, one of the reasons for that was those, those Tories in Surrey disliked Jeremy Corbyn more than they worried about the state of their own party. And I think that was a very powerful factor indeed. Uh, and, you know, it's one of the things we haven't talked about today, the degree to which Corbyn, as the prospect of Corbyn as Prime Minister, acted as a glue for the Tories and even Remainer Tories in these so-called blue seats, were willing to take a punt on Boris Johnson because the alternative was Jeremy Corbyn.